Well, we're giving this another try, everyone. Welcome back to the control room at Screensaver Kai. And Gira. And we were actually just playing this game just a few minutes ago. I was about to make some headway into the title fight in the world circuit, and the dang recorder crashed. So we're just going to have ourselves a merry little restart. Everything's fine. Which we don't actually need to tell you guys about our technical problems, but Kai likes to overshare. Yeah, I know, I'm breaking the fourth wall. Ilnez will be pl not pleased. Jim Cornette will hate me forever for killing the business. But now, I've got to fight Mr. Riverdance here. Even though the Irish people do not do that, this guy's just a walking stereotype. Well, actually, no. He's a stereotype of bad mullets. He actually looks like... What does he look like? You said you couldn't exactly describe him. Just with the face and the haircut, he just looks like one of those Waffle House customers that you'll see really early in the morning. How early are we talking? Well, he's either there between like 7 to 9, or he's there like at 3 o'clock. AM or PM? 3 o'clock in the morning. He's one of those guys that's just... Oh, having such a colorful adventure in life. And we hope everyone. How would you know what the Waffle House customers look like? Everywhere. I don't know. I'm just making a guess because we've been there at least to like 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, so it's not like they're sending in the clowns at 3 o'clock. Unless anyone can confirm that for us. Are there clowns at 3 o'clock at Waffle House? Are they all just going, oh, Hey, we're going to juggle for you! I want them scattered, smothered, and covered! And then all of a sudden the Waffle House workers are just juggling hash browns and tomatoes and everything. How do you juggle a hash brown? I don't know. If they used hash brown patties, which are better than scattered hash browns, they no, could do not. it. Oh, by the way, I just beat up an Irishman. Feel free to chime in on any of the debates that we do have. Yes. And make sure you're agreeing with me. Wow, that's not biased at all. If you're not wrong, you're still... Even if you're wrong, you're right. Right, Kira? I'm not wrong. But anyway, we're going to fight Heike Kagero, a.k.a. Pegasus and Jane from Yu-Gi-Oh! and James from Pokemon put together. Heike Kagero! Do I have to put two cards face down to beat him? They don't always put two cards face down. Two Most cards have face only down. one card face down. Face down, Kaiba boy. Mercy me, what will I do? See, he's never watched Yu-Gi-Oh. I've only seen it intermittently. I didn't watch it religiously like I did Pokemon back in the day. And he he, he said he's tried to play the Yu-Gi-Oh game. Yeah, I collected the cards for a little bit. And I played it like twice. You played it like twice. That's not, that's not even long enough to figure out how to play the game. And I lost. Because you didn't know how to play. I'm letting this guy get him way more shots in on me than I need to. I just love his purple t <laughs> His purple gloves and his purple shoes. They're just such a nice color. Well, I mean, his trunks are purple as well. They're, they're lavender or mauve. They're purple. We're not calling our racer the Mob Avenger. I can't believe we're calling our racer the Mob Avenger. 30, 30 points whoever gets that reference. It's from Hey Arnold. Yeah, that's another show I wasn't afraid of on those. Best Nicktoon ever. No, that would be the reference. Okay, see, I paid for my... I paid for my insolence, Kiro. Hey, Kekagero knocked me out for saying best Nicktoon ever. I just meant like... Yeah. If you look at it long term, it held up way better than Rugrats ever did. Uh, people still watch Rugrats. Well, like through all of the seasons, I mean. Because for Rugrats, everything season one through three was mostly gold. And then once you got to where the animation change was, I he think. hates Dill. Everyone hates Dill. Yeah, but you, you think everything. Uh, not everything. I mean, I liked all the stuff. 
Again, I contend Rugrats in Paris is the best Nickelodeon movie ever made. Man, I'm just getting the crud beaten out of me. There. Don't have any bonus points or whatever. Kira does not care for boxing games. I wanted to do a different episode, but Kai is like, oh, well, let's do Super Funko. It's quick and easy. And I get to beat up a clown that looks like Krusty if he ate oh, all his Krusty he's creepy. I don't like clowns. Well, I'm beating up the creepy clown. He's like, hey, hey! <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think so. Not in my hood. Oh, well, he's creepy. I don't want to see him. Well, at least he's not Pennywise creepy. I've seen the original It movie and I've seen It Part 1. I really liked It Part 1 a lot. All the stuff with the kids is all really good. When you get to the adults though, it's just... Ugh. Because the kids are getting... You get natural reactions out of them. They have a close friendship. And they're le look legitimately scared of everything going on. Okay, what you gonna do, Krusty? See, I didn't use the pause trick that I tried in the first Good. try. Good, it's cheating. Apparently there's some kind of pause trick you can do with this guy. And, I mean, when you read the let's play, that's cheating. People want to see you lose. They want to laugh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, come on! I'm getting pimp slapped! Well, why did you piss off your pimp? He's not my daddy, you will tell me. He's, ho he's holding my head in the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Does. All because I. He thought that I wasn't washing my hands correctly, not covering my coughs because of the big bog monster. Our little name for the pandemic. Oops, YouTube's gonna censor me. But now we gotta fight Super Macho Man Randy Hogan. Ooh, yeah! I'm about to dig it here and Super Punch Out, try and hit Little Mac, but I'm just gonna get beaten up. Yeah! Okay, so he has a few exercise programs. Ooh. Exercise program A is when he'll actually try and hit you with front-facing punches. C is when he'll do the big uppercuts. And B are just body blows. So who do you think this guy looks like? He looks like Hulk Hogan. And Vince McMahon, like you said. Well, because of the Macho Man name, and just he looks like the guy that would have a Randy Savage voice. There you go. One more knockdown, and I've got his heavyweight championship, and I should have been trying to recover. Come on. Yeah, well, I just mashed his face in. How do you like that? Well, boxing and wrestling can be pretty colorful. Right on! I'm gonna show up my pecs in my armpits. And Little Mac shaves his armpits. But I am the new World Circuit Heavyweight Champion of the World, Taco Sakazaki!
So that was all of the circuits shown, but there's a special one. Special circuit. We're going to see what happens. And who's our first opponent? Narcissus Prince from the United Kingdom. Wow. He's 12 and 3. And he looks like he's wearing Turbo Man's costume. Yeah, it's Turbo Man's son. It does look like Joe! Look at his face! It's totally him! Oh, he's boxing like out of... Where? Oxford? But when you punch him in the face, he starts to lose his composure. Scream? Yeah, that's it. Did you see that face he just made? Fight. He's like, my face! He's doing the Linda Belcher. Face. I dare you, little man. Ow. Ow. His theme music is pretty boss, though. I really like it. Yeah, go ahead, that ain't gonna help you. Wow. That's three quarters of a minute. Poor fellas down. And, whew. And I love how it's just a dragon, that's their symbol. Just a big old dragon. Lameness. Shige. Matuba, Matubar. Yes. Yes, Queen! Yes, Queen was playing. Oh boy. This guy. For all of you who have played Punch Out in the past, you know who I'm talking about with Roy Carlo. He's 78, he's 62 and 13, and he is the biggest cheating mother. mother something or other in the game. Just look at him. Yeah, good luck with that. You think he's gonna drop that stick when he fights? Oh. Is that even legal? In the World Video Boxing Association, wow. anything is legal. Well, if you get a weapon. You can fight with a weapon, you can fight with a weapon. Oh, I meant to duck. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Turn this match into a street fight. I mean, I mean, I get the spitting and the eye gouging and all that that people have tried to do. But why are they allowed to bring weapons? One, two, three, Let's turn it into a street fight. I mean, look, Little Mac would obviously get into Super Smash Brothers. Oh! So he's used to all kinds of weapons being used against him, but I guess Hoy Carlo was his first real test. For smash for a second. Come on, I dare you. That's what this guy is doing. He's testing him to make sure that he is prepared for the smash for a circuit. There you go. Come on, do it again. Four, four, there, do it again. He's training me for the hard knocks of life. It's a hard knock life. He's he comes from the orphanage that he works at the orphanage that Annie lived at? Yes. Maybe he's daddy Warbucks, and we just never knew it. Oh, I can't ever predict what he's gonna do with that stick. Because sticks aren't to be predicted. Dang it. If I can only get one more shot in him. Oh, come on! I'm only a few... Come 
Come on, I'm just like one shot away. Oh! That sounded painful. Yeah, I think I broke his coccyx. His coccyx. I broke something. I broke his spirit. I probably broke his stick. <laughs> I think it was broken long before that. Then again, I don't know. Maybe he's the courtliest guy ever. But here comes somebody big and bad. He's from age. And his brother is the champion. So what are we in for? So he's probably from the same place that his brother is. He, he, he's from Super Question Mark. Good old Rick Bruiser. One thing I will say, he is infinitely easier than Hoy Carlo is. Why is he after I think Hoy Carlo is, is just a litmus test to see if you can make it through. You're so drained from the other harder fighters like this guy and Heike Kagero and all the other fellas that... The last two guys are kind of easy. This guy's like a pink Brock Lesnar. He's Hink Hall. Oh, and he can elbow your arm so that one of them is useless. Taking it on the chin tonight. Well, it's because you jinxed yourself. You're like, oh, he's easier. Yeah, you're moving. Hey, he's not carrying a stick. Yeah, but even so, you're getting pretty beat up. Even without a stick. Dang. Oh. He couldn't, he couldn't spare the extra millisecond to say technical. So technically I'm winning all my matches by knockout then. But, I beat a guy named Ham, Dharma X. Hey, look who's super over, but I beat him. Milk. Glass of milk. And now the champion, Nick Bruiser. He's thinking. He looks just like the other guy. Yeah, but now he's got golden gloves. He's a golden gloves boxer. It's like he went to Steak and Shake and he was told that the shake machine was down. Which actually rarely happens. But did happen to us once. I got told they were out of ice cream. Oh, so of a But if you go to McDonald's, they're like, their shake machine is like always down. Well, their McFlurry machine is. Their shakes are usually always down. No, they're always down. Really? Because yeah. every time I go to get a shake from McDonald's, it's... Usually, there. Usually up and operational, but the shakes are nowhere near as good as they are at Steak and Shake or Dairy Queen. And now he's getting mad. He's just punching. Son of a gun. I 
guess what? He's done. I didn't even get knocked down once. Just piece of cake. Right on. Right on one more time, little Mac. Right on one more time. And for the first time in the control room history, in the history of this channel, we have beaten the game 100% all the way through. Because this is a short game and the other ones are playing it longer. But I got a dragon belt, so that makes it better. Dude! Who's beating them up? He can win. I'm thinking the same guy that beat up Patrick in that episode during the Salty Spittoon is actually beating him up. Oh, please have mercy! You get to see their funny faces and voices one more time. This hurricane rush must not have worked. No, that's called when you stock up for supplies during a hurricane. Yeah. Okay, I haven't beaten Bald Bull up that bad. Oh, he pulled his punches. No, he didn't. I got run over one of those bull trucks. Now dancing. And he danced so much he hurt himself. Hey, Mom, let's have fun once more! See, you didn't see him do that to me in the practice runs I did. When I woke up, it was me lying on the mat. <laughs> yeah, yours have, but the other guys have. Oh, he wants to be your friend. Bingo. Yeah, he's a nice guy, even though he spits on you. Good night. He wants a rematch. I'll find him some other time. Really? What about all the other guys that beat you? Hey, Kekagero's head banging. Press it. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Mad Clown, I think it's just Bear Hugger under a different alias. He's not Italian. He's oh, Canadian. The show is over. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Super macho man. You beat me, fair and square, dude. And there's. There's the kid from Jingle All the Way that we beat. That's what happens when he doesn't get his Turbo Man doll. He becomes a boxer despite his dad. Well, I mean, he didn't get the Turbo Man doll, but his dad ended up being Turbo Man, so that's like, a, you know, something better. Yeah, his dad broke so many laws that day. He broke his little beard. Stop that man! Which I did. I'm okay, but Nick is just sick about his loss. He looks like Taguro if he shaved his head off. Shaved his head. Maybe. Shaved his head off. Oh, there we go. Taco Sakazaki. I'm sure with shame. How could I suffer such total defeat? Beat the cake. I was wearing socks the whole time? I was wearing striped socks the entire time. Well, I saw it when the video was first moving, but apparently I'm the ultimate champ. Taco Sakazaki at 19 wins and zero losses. And with that, that's a great victory for the control room. We'll see you for the next episode. Kira, did you have a good time? Eh. It sounded like she had a blast. We're going to play a game that she likes next time.